what is up guys welcome to a brand new episode of the sims 4 for rent thank you everyone so much for tuning on into another episode this episode i want to complete more of this lifetime wish and one of the topics is meet a sim with the child of the village trait i was just looking at this map to see where that trait might be i actually found someone nin bon ma i hope that's how you pronounce her name seems to have that trait and this trait says these sims love feeling anchored to their community and culture keeping in touch with loved ones and engaging in activities that remind them of home is important for being happy so it looks like it's actually one of our neighbors what we can do is we can head on over there with our sim knock on that door and see if we can go meet her that should get that trait that kind of task in the lifetime goal done and the aspiration i should call it i'm so used to sims 3 where you'd have one or two i think as well you'd have one lifetime goal and then you'd be done I hit play on the wrong family. Sorry. Totally hit play on the wrong family. My fault. Um, I'm so used to Sims 2 and 3 where you actually had a lifetime wish. And even, I don't know, did 1 have a lifetime wish? I've never played Sims 1. That's my own my own fault. I've played like every other Sims game, but Sims 1 was never part of the list. Unfortunately. I've, I've heard good things about it, but never played 1. All right, cool. We got my Sim here. Let's eat sleep maybe playing a video game tournament we'll we'll eat playing a video game tournament and then sleep after that we can go over to that house to go see what's going on hopefully meet her and uh from there we'll go from there you know they'll put us in a pretty nice spot overall i think and then we'll have that lifetime that part of the lifetime wish done i haven't met her yet i don't think taking a quick look no i haven't i wasn't sure if there was like something about that wish maybe you had to make like good friends with them or something along those lines doesn't seem to be the case so we'll, we'll go over in a little bit and say hello make sure we're pals actually i don't think it says we need to be friends i think it just says we need sleep not sleep we just need to meet them yeah just meet a sim with it okay we'll we'll go say hello in a little bit i should get better beds for them i hate wasting time sleeping IRL and in this game. Oh, there's my chunk of change. Nice. That's good, I guess. Doesn't even feel like that much money for all the work I had to do. I feel like I need more properties. I think that should be our goal. How are the properties overall? Didn't we increase your... No, no, we already increased yours. We were increasing it to 300. What about theirs? Not open yet. All right, well, we'll check it out. All right, cool. Let's, we eat again? Nah. Let's just go over to that house and go see if we can find her. Say hello, meet her. I hate that now it says it's a playable household because I played it for one second. Like, that's frustrating. It's going to say that the rest of my, rest of my uh, <laughs> world, the rest of the time I play in this world, it's always going to say there's a playable household here. Um, go knock on door. Attempt break in. I kind of want to try it, but also, I'd feel horrible. Hello. Oh, there you are. Boom. Got it done. I feel bad using her like this. <laughs> Came over just to say hello. All right, cook a cuisine. Uh, click on a refrigerator stove, pressure cooker, or grill to cook cuisine. Recipes include... Oh, jeez. I can't even pronounce those. All right, let's head home. I'll, I'll start. <laughs> Dude's about to become a chef. Come on, Brian. Chef time. Time to become the best chef ever. And funny enough, you're hungry. So hopefully we can uh, figure out a meal that you can cook it up. Thank you everyone so much for tuning on into another episode, by the way. If you made it this far, make sure to like the video. It, it, it means a lot. Always make sure to like. And if you guys have a comment, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking of the game overall. Seems to be a cool expansion pack. Pretty fun. I, I'm i enjoying it. I, I don't think I love it. It seems... I don't know what I like. I, I think back to like how Sims 3 had rentals. And I really liked the resort feature. If you guys remember building resorts. And I actually can't remember how Sims 3 did rentals. 
I liked how Sims 3, you bought property. I thought that was pretty cool. So you could acquire all the businesses on the map. I thought that was kind of sick, actually. And I used to do it every time. You'd be a property owner and you'd own like the movie theater. And then you could change the movie theater if you owned enough of it. Like, I think that was so cool. Um, but I don't know. Uh, what are the other ones? I'm just scanning them quick to see if I can think of any of them when I click cook. This one is definitely one of them. All right, we just got to cook up one more. There was like a tofu one. Maybe we could cook up the tofu one. I actually had tofu this week. It wasn't bad. It was actually quite interesting. Um, is this a... Deep fried, especially with beef. Uh, I don't know if that's one of them. Can I just cook another Halo, maybe? I don't know. I mean, let me check if that was one of them. Wait, that was cooking the Halo? Was just you grabbing it out of the fridge? Oh. Hmm. I kind of thought it'd be more. I didn't read what it was, but I assumed it would have been more. They say cook, not grab out of the fridge, you know? Did that not count? Oh, I don't think it counted. Nasi, maybe? Or, or the soup. I think the soup was one of them. Please clean up. Let me go take a look. See if that soup's still an option. It had a, a B in it. This. This should be my third cuisine. Look at my professional chef here, Brian, cooking up, making snacks for the house. Cool. I'll go to work. I, I hate from home. Did I just put that in your inventory? Go to work, dude. See ya. All right. Buy a shirt from the night market. Visit the neighborhood in... Yeah, go for it. I don't know. Visit the night market. Buy a shirt from the night market. I'm sorry. From 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Hmm. All right. I guess we'll go visit the night market here. Neighborhood. Visit the neighborhood. Is that the neighborhood we're currently in? I'll wait till I get home. Help out. Yeah. Cool. Wait till I get home. Then maybe we'll go visit the night market. Well, we will go visit the night market. I need to buy food and uh, buy a shirt. All right, let's move. I forgot the neighborhood. It was with a B. It wasn't with a B. What am I even saying? This looks like a night market right there. Does it look like a night market to you? What is this? This is lot. Well, let me confirm. I don't want to waste time. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, all right let's go. It's at 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. We'll, we'll go to this garden, I guess, and hopefully the... Oh, it's a national park. That's new. They made national parks. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Me gusta. That means it is pleasing to me in Spanish. Me gusta. We'll go pop on in. Hello. All right, let's see what's going on here. Pause. Where is this night mark? Ooh. Let's go. Explosion? Can I have a few minutes? Let me just order some food here and buy a shirt, please. I absolutely love this, actually. This is so cool. What? You have shirts here? Oh, you do. It looks like you got shirts back there. Yeah, buy a shirt. All right, we got to go. 
what the heck happened at my apartment? Rockwood, Rock Ridge Springs had an explosion? What? It's these guys. Oh, they're going to be so mad. Oh, it's that song's household, it says. Oh, no. Oh, no. What was the explosion? Like, let's not exaggerate. An explosion? That's like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. An explosion? Hello. I'm here. Did I hear an explosion? Wait, it was just the oven. Guys, come on. What happened, guys? Everyone okay? Well, that's unfortunate. That was like my entire uh, salary. What the heck happened? You want to talk to me? Commend Blaine? Yeah, just look. Hey. Donate to. Ch oh, wait. Charity gift drive? Hold of myself. See you guys. I'm out. <laughs> I just donated a photo of my. What's this? Oh, is it voting time? Can't vote. Dang it. <laughs> imagine. I'm just thinking. Imagine someone asks, hey, you want to make a donation? And then you give them a photo of yourself. Like, man, how conceited do you have to be to do that? You know? It's funny, though, because if you think to like actual fundraisers, I went to one and they were actually selling like signed photography, like a photo signed by Michael Jordan. And it's funny because I'm sure Michael Jordan didn't donate that. But could you imagine if he did it? Like how? <laughs> or like, or like a baseball signed by the Red Sox team or something. Like funny. Maybe they did donate it. Do they donate it? I don't know. I I just. I just couldn't imagine being like, hey, we really need your support right now. And then you send a photo of yourself in with your signature. Whew. That is a, that's a move, you know? Don't get me wrong. Brian is slightly famous, but come on. Could you imagine that was your donation? Like how, Ooh, dang, man. I just, that's hilarious. All right. Um. Prepare a recipe using the pressure cooker. There's pressure cookers in the game now. I got to be honest. My fiance loves her pressure cooker. Absolutely terrifies me. I find it terrifying. The way like if you mess up, it can explode and it has to kind of just be just right. And it has to. No. I ain't messing around with the pressure cooker. And then like. You have to let the steam out to depressurize, but every time you do, it makes this loud hissing noise. And I'm like, man, that thing's going to blow up. I don't, no pressure cookers for me. I got to be honest. We haven't woohooed in a while. How about you woohoo and go to bed? Go get Yuki to woohoo and then let's get some sleep. Yeah. You guys, pressure cooker fans, we got pressure cooker fans in the chat. I, I got to be honest though. Uh, the food that comes from them, great. And my fiance says it's extremely easy to use. That's me. Immediately, I'm sorry, <laughs> doing push ups right after the woohoo. I don't know what's going on with it, Brian, but <laughs> you're like, yeah, push up time. Like, what, Brian? That's, that's what you're going to do? Were you that excited that you're like, time to hit the push ups? <laughs> I got to go to the gym. Oh, what was that? Well, what's our? Oh, deeply connected. Oh, that's sweet. I did give her a promise ring in the last series. I forgot about. Are we not married? Oh, no, I don't think we're married. Are we married?
I don't think we are. Oh, maybe we should get married. <laughs> Woohoo's does push ups. My gosh, Brian, you are one of a kind. You are a unique individual, you know? Woohoo, you know? Let's go. What, wait, how can you upgrade it? Auto vent? Oh. Self cleaning? Unbreakable. I guess just make a couple recipes with the pressure cooker. I don't know. What do you make two recipes with the pressure cooker? Anyone else scared by a pressure cooker? Or am I just crazy to think, man, this is a little scary? Gotta be honest though, pressure cookers are nice. The convenience of a pressure cooker is so nice. Literally just made a whole dish, threw it in the trash. It is cool how this pressure cooker works in this game, though. That's it? So you set it and you actually walk away? That's kind of sick, don't you think? All right, so it looks like we have to explore a couple places. I did explore that tiger sanctuary before, and for some reason, it's a rabbit hole. I dislike rabbit holes. I don't understand the purpose of making this cool event that you don't even get to see, but we'll leave it alone. You know, I won't, I won't, I'll leave it at that. Actually, I see some screen tearing there. Oh, well, all right. Um, I guess we'll go visit the tiger sanctuary. I don't know. Explore the caves. Where are the caves? Collect unique tassels. What's that? Visit the night market neighborhood. Interact with the stalls to see if any tassels are for sale. Is that what it says? Right, that counted. Now, where's the cave? I swear, I thought the cave was on this map. Hmm. View the statue? Swim to Beard, Beard, Beard Cove neighborhood, then explore the chosen cave. Swim to somewhere. Swim. Where are we swimming to? Where's this cove? Is it somewhere you have to swim to? Is this it? Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> it was excited about the... Where are you? Dude, that's going to be a swim and a half. Funny enough, I just watched a movie yesterday of someone swimming. It's a great documentary. It's on this, uh, oh, man. What's his name? Nyla, maybe? It's is freezing to death? Don't you dare die. You're taking PTO. Uh, I was on this woman who swam from Cuba to the uh, Florida Keys. It was an amazing movie. It was on Netflix. It was a documentary. I think it was called, I think the name of the documentary was Nyla or something along those lines. Super cool documentary on Netflix. And she swam all that way. She was like 62 when she completed it. Unbelievable. Only person to ever do it. She was 62. Um, yeah, swam the entire distance. Unreal documentary. Highly recommend. Super cool. Super cool. Only reason I say all that. Fair warning. Cave rocks tend to make excellent homes for tiny creatures. No. Make the climb. Hidden tunnel. Climbed up the rocky. Uh, whatever. The view may have been cool, but that creature's quest for affection has left him. Several heebly jeep. All right, what are the other ones? Any tales? Explore the area. 
of the entire then select view. Wait, where's this? View the statue of Khan, May, and the tiger. Neighborhood holds many tales of days past. Explore the area. Explore the area? Where is this? Where's the statue? Statue of Khan, May. Is it here? Right now we're here. Is the statue here? It doesn't... That kind of looks like a statue. Is that the statue? I don't know. All right. I'm going to go here anyways, just because right now I'm in the middle of nowhere. I don't want to make that swim again. We almost died last time. Let's let's not risk it all to swim again. Oh, I assume the statue would have been right. Is this a statue? No. Is that the statue? No. Is that the... No, that's just an easel. Little park. Hmm. Oh, this is a temple. Is this it? This is connect unique tassels. Brian removes his shoes upon entering and try not lingering within the threshold. It's important. It's hard to believe something that's so magical. Majestic, whatever. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know where this, uh, I'll find it in the next episode, I guess. Tamarang's neighborhood. Oh, uh, maybe it is the other neighborhood. No, wait, what? It's in either of these neighborhoods. Wait. How's it? Uh, offers a more relaxed lifestyle. This is this Tiger Sanctuary, so support for conservatory. Osapa is the ideal spot to go with the flow of attitude. There's a statue in this bottom right. I wonder if it's over there. I'm going to go back here and just take a quick look, see if I can find the statue. The tassels, I guess we're just going to have to do another night. Collect all the tassels, and then we'll be uh, one more mission down. Did it look like there was a statue? Oh, is that it? Oh, that and the tiger. That's definitely it. Gotcha. Can we get that? I'll wait a little longer. I'll get the tassels done, then we'll complete this here. All right, let's go back. We'll get a quick snack in, then I'm going to go to the night market and see if we can get all the tassels. All in one episode. That'd be sick. Um, yeah, it opens up at 6 p.m., so they should have just opened. Oh, I could go get food at the night market. Let's do that. Let's let's get a quick snack, then go get food at the night market. Hopefully get the tassels. Man, could you ever imagine doing the perfect sim challenge in this series? That would be something at this point. What the heck happened to our place at home? With all the expansions, ooh, man, they just keep adding more in this game. It's crazy. It'd be crazy trying to do all that. All right, let's travel. We'll see if we can go get the last of the items at the night market. We just need three tassels, it looks like. All right, what did it say? First off, come over here and go get a dish of food, please. Anything garlic noodles actually sounds fabulous. Electrical failure. Can I call someone to do that? Uh, 
uh, visit the lot and sort or call a contract crew over the phone. Call the contract. Yeah. Thanks. All right, let's see what we need for those tassels. Visit the night market, interact with the stalls to see if tassels are being sold. To complete the objective, different tassels will not need to be found. You can also find them in piles of sand in neighborhoods, beaches when exploring. Okay. So, howdy introduction. Uh, all right, so we need to see if different tassels are being sold. Where would you even go for that? Like you, are you selling tassels? Oh, green tassel, pink tassel. Is that a marble? All right, so we bought two of those. I don't know what's in these boxes, but I'm hoping, wait, I'm hoping there's tassels in there. Does anywhere else have tassels? Yo, you got tassels? You got food. It said in the sand. I saw some sand behind our house, but I didn't end up using it. Maybe I should go check. Let's see if there's more. All right, so this is another food stall. We might need another clothing stall. Order food and drink. Nope. It seems to be the only non-food stall in the night market, unfortunately. All right, let's head home. I saw uh, piles of sand behind my house. Maybe we can find the last of the tassels. This might be a slightly longer episode, but I'd like to get this done if I can. I was hoping those bags I picked up would have the tassels in them, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, what are these? I don't even know. If I just place them down, are they going to... They all have nothing. They're just boxes to hold stuff. All right. Uh, I saw a pile of sand back here. Seems to be what you find. Dang it. Tuck, tuck, goose. That's not what I needed. Usually items don't instantly spawn. So. We'll, we'll, we'll let some time pass. I'll let him go do his thing. I gotta just look at beaches real quick and see if I can find any more piles of sand. So the thing about this game is that those items usually spawn after like six hours. At least it's how a couple of the items spawn rates work. You have to wait a little while before they actually populate. So let's just assume that's how these piles of sands work. Oop. Let's go. Let's go. All right, what do we get? All right. Sims with this trait are better at cooking cuisines, uh, finding tassels, getting along with Sims with the child of the village trait, and will be more successful when exploring the tiger sanctuary and the bird, the beard, beard cave. Woo. That is another lifetime wish done, guys. I think that's all the lifetime. Wait, there was actually one more lifetime wish. I think it's, no, it's definitely in here though. Live in a residential rental. Yeah, this is it. Do I want to do this? Yeah, this would be the last one. Live in a residential rental, meet a residential rental neighbor, have a property owner visit your unit. Yeah, that'd be it. 
Do we want to do it? Hey, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys want me to do it. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Much love. Thanks for the support. See you, dudes.